Let's start tonight with our nine new things for 09. Number one, how about this new show, Karen? Yeah. We got a whole crew working every week to bring you the inside scoop on everything fresh. The things you'll want to know and the things you'll want to share. Plus the hottest trends from food to fashion to retail from our friends at Philadelphia Magazine. And you can check us out anytime at fyi.6abc.com. All right, number two, the new attitude. It's time to be fabulously <laughs> frugal. My husband's been trying to get me to do this for a long time, but you know, with the economy on a roller coaster, spending like a sailor is out, thrifty is in. But there's no need to sacrifice fun. Like eating out, lots of local restaurants are offering recession menus, even high-end eating spots like La Croix in Rittenhouse Square and Positano Coast in Society Hill. Then there's one of Philly's best kept secrets. Want a high end meal at a low cost? Petite Passion at 24th and Market doesn't advertise, but budding chefs from Philadelphia's International Culinary School offer six course dinners for 30 bucks. Just BYOB. We got that tip from the Saving with 6ABC channel on 6ABC.com. We'll have lots of ideas from there, and you can always check it out yourself. Number three, the in color. Plum may be hot for fashion, but Let's face it, green is what it's all about. True, and those front and center of the green scene are becoming planet protector superheroes. Like these Philly siblings, Johnny and Pat McDonald. They run the firm Onion Flats and have made it a family mission to design and build eco-friendly dwellings in the neighborhoods like Northern Liberties. For instance, these solar thermal panels. We've actually pierced the building envelope in the roof to let as much natural light in as we possibly can. Everything in this bathroom is either recycled or some form of local materials. And they don't just talk the talk, they walk the walk, or rather drive it in electric cars. We've made a connection with a local distributor of a 100% electric vehicle. And with the purchase of this house, they'll extend their wholesale pricing to the owners. It may not be easy being green, but these days it can turn you into a celebrity. The sustainability commitment that we have as a company goes way beyond what just this house is. We're committed to it for the neighborhood, for the city of Philadelphia. We'll have a lot more on the growing green scene on FYI. And if you want everyday tips to do your part, go to 6abc.com's new green living channel. You can find the link on the 6abc.com homepage under resources. Number four, what do these four notable names, Cezanne, Galileo, Charles Darwin, and Edgar Allan Poe have in common? It's not where they're from or what they did or the fact that they're long gone. These four revolutionary visionaries will be coming to Philadelphia this year in the form of blockbuster exhibits. Cezanne opens at the Art Museum in February. You can see Galileo's actual telescope at the Franklin starting April 4th. The Darwin exhibit is at the University of Penn Museum right now, and Poe arrives at his historic one-time home in Northern Liberties on January 17th. I'm Kevin Parker, and I'm number five. Make room, Steven Starr. Kevin is the new man about town, ready to build an entertainment and lifestyle empire. Kevin Parker owns restaurants. He's building a trendy new boutique hotel. He's a motivational speaker and a mentor to young kids. And he's a style setter, who you'll hear a lot from in 2009. In fact, you can get the inside scoop on Kevin next Saturday at 7.30 p.m. on New Visions. Number six. Let's not forget the ladies. Hi, I'm Zara Saeed. She's the much talked about Pakistani born fashion designer who calls Morristown, New Jersey home. Zara's only been in the business for about a year, but her designs have already been showcased at fashion weeks in Paris and London. The silhouettes are very classic. Um, I try to take pieces from different eras here and there, but still keep them very classic. And uh, on top of that, what I wanted to introduce was uh, the embroideries or, or just something that um, is considered so, um, it's luxury, pure luxury. And in about a month, her first retail shop will open on Walnut Street in Philadelphia, just in time to debut her new spring line. We'll find out a lot more about Zara on next week's FYI. Hey, Adam, what's number seven? Hey, is this the millionth time you made that New Year's resolution to get into shape? Well, this year, we have a little inspiration. How about getting it going with Philly's Movers and Shakers at the city's hottest and newest fitness emporium? Zaret's Rehab and Fitness, like I did. Bring him up tonight. Back up, back up, back up. 
Joe Zaret has long been known as a miracle worker among Philly's power elite. As a person who was in the fitness business, I wouldn't go anywhere else because he knows about the body and how it works. You have a one-on-one -on -one here and people um, watch you constantly so you know you're supervised and you do things properly. And so instead of working out, I used to be seven days a week, I'm here three days a week and that's it. It's my refuge, it's my therapy in all kinds of ways, it's just the best. Joe recently renovated four floors of this building at 19th and South and he's ready to take on all comers. Working those abs. <laughs> I can't even say it. And the best part? Every personal training session comes with a post workout stretch and massage. Now that's service. Number eight. This one's going to get a lot of guys revved Ooh, up. Ooh, I like this. So let's get ready to roll to the newest and perhaps the most unusual museum collection in Philadelphia. Simeon Foundation Automotive Museum is home to more than 60 classic road racing cars. Cars that sped to fame on tracks around the world. Now they're lovingly displayed by their owner, Dr. Fred Simeon. Virtually all of them follow the theme of sports racing. These are sports cars or cars with fenders and lights and contradistinction to Indianapolis cars, which are pure race cars, not meant for the road. So why are they number eight? Because some of these cars are worth eight figures. Yep, you heard that right. Perhaps the most valuable car in the collection is this 1938 Alfa Romeo that won the Mille Miglia race in Italy. Generally been considered by automotive experts as the most advanced uh, and perhaps the most attractive of all the pre-war sports racing cars. The museum has been attracting serious car aficionados from around the world, including race car legend Mario Andretti and former Eagles coach Dick Vermeil.